The two-tier justice system has worn out its welcome. Leftists are throwing their opponents off ballots, denying choices on primary ballots, and now demonstrably allowing left-wingers to get away with committing crimes while inventing crimes against the Democrats' opponents. America's government betrays our citizens. It's a level of corruption previously unseen in America. That's what we focus on in today's preamble. According to Democrat enabler Robert Hur's whitewash report, Joe Biden can't remember his time as VP or the date of the death of his son. Joe Biden willfully took classified information he wasn't legally able to take as VP or as senator. In so doing, Joe Biden compromised our nation's security. And because of all of this, he won't be charged because Robert Hur determined that a jury wouldn't convict Joe Biden of crimes he committed when he was younger because Joe Biden is now mentally incompetent in his old age. Over at CNN, they immediately tried to spin this damning report as best they could. I don't think the president did himself any favors in that speech. Um, he undercut two of his biggest messages. The adults are back in charge by sort of being dismissive of, yes, he was exonerated. He's not going to be convicted or tried for this. Hmm. Not to put too fine a point on this, but... That's BS, a declination to prosecute because Joe Biden is too old and is not in his right mind is not exoneration. The report states that Joe Biden willfully, quote, willfully took classified material and compromised national security. That's not an exoneration. That's a corrupt federal government saying that Joe Biden is too well connected to too many corrupt elements in our government to face the music for putting our country in danger over multiple decades. If this all sounds familiar, it should. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. Hmm. That was former FBI Director James Comey, a corrupt and disgraced Republican, just like Robert Hur. Comey also let a powerful Democrat, Hillary Clinton, off the hook. Comey discovered Hillary had broken the law, but just like her, Comey allowed another Democrat's treachery and betrayal to go unpunished. None of this is to say that Joe Biden's clearly mentally diminished mental acuity doesn't endanger us all. Here are some of Joe Biden's most recent mental lapses. And I want to thank all of you here for in including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. I sat down and I said, America's back. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean, from France, looked at me and said, uh, said, you know, what, why, how, how long are you back for? As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. Joe Biden says he spoke to world leaders who have been dead for years. He called out to a congresswoman who was tragically killed in a car crash. And he thinks the president of Egypt is the president of Mexico because, you know, those countries are so similar. Again, your government allows Biden to endanger you so your corrupt government can protect itself. These revelations are not coming out because of the GOP. The Republicans can't even impeach Alejandro Mayorkas or slow, corrosive overspending, which threatens to shatter all Americans' lives. This is Democrat on Democrat. They see the polls. Trump is stomping Joe Biden and his anti-American regime. And leftists are eager to show Biden the door. But he and those who have been harming us in his name don't want to go. Be looking for Democrats to switch out Joe Biden for someone that, well, they'll shove down the nation's throats with no vetting and no voting.